The cost of an average new car is about $50,000. With higher interest rates on top of all that, people are looking at used cars. But here are some important factors you need to know. Now, obviously, having a mechanic look at the vehicle before you make your final decision is a very smart move. But are you aware of odometer rollbacks? There's a big misconception that odometer fraud disappeared when they went to digital odometers. But that couldn't be farther from the truth. In fact, Carfax data suggests more than 1.9 million vehicles on the road have their odometers rolled back, an increase of 7% over the previous year, and that's because used car prices were high and lower mileage cars sell for more. The used car experts at Carfax have a technician from Atlanta Speedometer standing by with a car to demonstrate just how quickly the scam can be done. You'll witness the mileage change in seconds. The consumers lose an average of $4,000 in value from unknowingly buying a rollbacked car. And that doesn't include unexpected maintenance costs. Many people think odometer fraud disappeared way back when. Well, guess what? It's here and they're completely wrong. In fact, Carfax data suggests roughly 2.1 million vehicles on the road have their odometer rolled back, up 14% from 2021. Carfax Editor-in-Chief Patrick Olson will demonstrate just how quickly this scam can be done. Patrick, how big of a problem is odometer rollbacks in the U.S.? So odometer rollback is when uh, a scammer takes um, a device and takes 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 miles or more off the odometer of a car. <clears throat> and it's a bigger problem than people might think. Uh, Carfax has found about 2.1 million vehicles nationwide that we flag for potential odometer rollback. Can you tell us which states have the most rollbacks in the U.S.? The states with the highest number of uh, these vehicles are California, New York, Florida. And yes, that's where a lot of people are, but that's also where a lot of cars are. And so these scammers, they really want to hit markets where there are a lot of shoppers and there's a lot of potential to cash in. So why should this matter to consumers whether the mileage is accurate or not? So consumers should be worried about roll, uh, rollback odometers for a bunch of reasons. One, there is absolutely a financial hit. There's an average of $4,000 of value lost to consumers who buy a car with a rollback odometer. But it can be a lot more than that. For example, if we take two 2018 Ford F-150s in the same condition, but one is 50,000 miles, one has 150,000 miles, there's a $10,300 difference in the value of those two trucks. But beyond the financiers, there's also some risks involved. If your car is not at 60,000 miles, as you may have thought, and you've got a long time to go before you have to do tune-up and some other major work, it's possible that major work was due before and hasn't been done. And that puts your car, yourself, and your family at risk. So how difficult is it really to roll back an odometer? So rolling back an odometer is not as complicated as people think. A lot of people think the old rotary ones were easier to fix. That's not the case. You can buy devices now for as little as $300 that will change uh, an odometer to whatever a scammer wants. And with us today is Josh Engel, president of Atlanta Speedometer. Thanks. Good to be here. Appreciate it. Correcting an odometer is a, there's a total legitimate need to be able to do it. So my company specializes in instrument cluster repair. Uh, sometimes they're too far beyond repair, hit by lightning, whatever that may be, and we've got to replace it at that point. So we need to get the vehicle's correct mileage put back on to the odometer. And so, you know, you're, there's no fraud, there's nothing you're doing what you're supposed to do, the mileage that belongs to the chassis of the vehicle. So the tools are available for that reason, and that's why they are, you know, have a legitimate purpose to be able to sell them and buy them. Uh, but you can also buy them. There's no licensure or anything like that that you need to be able to obtain them. Um, so, you know, with a few hundred bucks, you can purchase one online uh, to be able to do the thing yourself if you're actually trying to commit fraud. Let me show you how quickly this can be done. So uh, this tool that I'm holding in my hand, uh, purchased off the internet several years ago for around $300, I believe, uh, it simply plugs into your OBD2 port. So the same port on your vehicle where your mechanic would go plug in to get diagnostic information, tell you what's wrong with your car, check engine light, et cetera. We're gonna plug in the exact same port. All that does is communicate to the network of the vehicle um, so that we can send the bytes that we need to be able to change this. So uh, I'll give you a quick demonstration. So this vehicle right now, this is a 2009 Chevy HHR, and on the odometer right now, I've got 124,000 miles. So in my device, I've already inputted about 43,000 miles. So we can knock off 80 in just the flip of a switch, basically. So 124 on the clock right now, and if I hit enter, you'll see everything start to change on the display and now you've got the 43,000 miles on the odometer, and that's locked into this vehicle. You're not gonna be able to go back and change it unless you have one of these devices to roll it back forward and correct it. 
uh, once you're done. And you know, without it being anywhere else in the vehicle, you're kind of reliant on history and reports and you know mechanic knowledge and, and so on to be able to determine whether you have something that's uh, you know had something like this taken place. Patrick, can you tell us any additional advice so that people don't get scammed? What do they need to do? So there's three things that consumers can do to protect themselves from a rollback odometer. One, if a deal sounds too good to be true, it absolutely is. Um, number two is check the vehicle history for the car. So Carfax, every time a car goes through a safety inspection or mission inspection, gets re-registered, we're keeping track of those mileage markers on the vehicle history report. And so you can watch as the miles add up over the years. And if there's a sudden jump from say 80,000 down to 60,000, that's gonna trip a red flag. A third, and this is very important, is make sure any used car that you're seriously considering, take it to a mechanic you trust. They can get the car up on a lift. And not only can they see things that you can't, they know what they're looking at. And so they can tell if, say, the, the shocks and struts of our car are showing a lot more wear than the mileage on the odometer would suggest. And then finally, if you're worried about a car and you want a quick check, if you go to carfax.com slash ODO, um, you can put in the vehicle identification number, hit enter, and we will tell you instantly if we've ever flagged that vehicle for odometer rollback, and it's completely free. There's more information on rolled back odometers at Carfax's website, carfax.com. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'm more than happy to answer them. I'm sure you've got comments. And you can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, plus all the links for our website, social media, the book, and the podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.